Welcome back, I am Captain Xavier, and I like all things modular, so I am excited to finally get my hands on a set of these. These are Workers Mega to Elite Adapters. They're designed to simply, you just put them into the cylinder and it rebarrels it to Elite. Uh, it should hypothetically also then um, make sure that the air restrictor gets uh, depressed if you still have the air restrictor in, which I usually do, uh, especially when I increase the spring load on things. Um, and I'm gonna take, uh, take a look and see how they work exactly. Um, there's ten of them that come in the pack that I got, which is how many you need to completely rebarrel a Roto Fury, though you could do half and half if you still wanted to be able to fire one or the other, and you just have to keep track of where you are in the cycle. Uh, you could alternate, you could do pairs of two, you could do whatever you wanted. Um, I also have a... Cyclone Shock Cylinder, because I'm working on a Cyclone Shock for Jomo and uh, another one for myself. And so I have the cylinder out. Somebody said that they were having trouble with it in the Cyclone Shock, and I had the same results, which is... It's not very tight. Uh, in order to remove them, they give you this nifty little gizmo, which is a threaded cap on a string, because the uh, end of the barrels of all of these are threaded. So you thread that on, and then you have a way of pulling it back out. Uh, in the Roto Fury, uh, you gotta mean it when you go to get it out, because uh, you can push them in pretty far, and they will stay in there. Um, unlike the Cyclone Shock, where they fall back out, on the Roto Fury, they're not going anywhere if you don't want them to. And they go almost all the way flush. Not quite. There's a little bit of uh, a lip left over right there. And getting it out is no easy feat. I would be... I'd wonder how long this would last if you were to actually uh, rebarrel it all the way and then try to undo all of them. Uh, I unfortunately am not going to be able to do a firing demo today because being fall in the Pacific Northwest, it is of course raining. Um, but I will, you know, fire in here. You just won't be able to see like range or anything. This is my K26 Roto Fury. It's got a little bit more kick than a stock one, not a whole lot more. Um, the spring that was already in the Roto Fury was fairly beefy, uh, but it takes K26 just fine as far as I have noticed so far. So I'm going to go ahead and put half of these in and see how well it does. Interesting. So one of them doesn't want to go in all the way. And I'm terribly curious why that would be. I don't like that because I, I suspect that's going to mean it won't uh, trip the AR. But it also means you get to see me demonstrate how you get them out. Like I said, you gotta mean it. These ones are in there good and tight. No idea what was up with that one. Inconsistency in the mold, inconsistency... I mean, it, it went into the other one just fine. Alright, so my Rotofury is now half elite, half mega, and we're gonna go give both a try. Alright, I have loaded it with a variety of random ammunition because I believe in testing in field conditions, which often means scavenging ammunition and you never know what you're gonna get. So I've got, I think, a super dart, a, a AccuFake, a waffle head, uh, a regular elite, uh, a zombie strike elite, I've got two regular megas, I've got a um, Lytake mega, I've got a uh, Green Mega and a Zombie Strike Mega. So let's see how it fires. Fires just fine. Alright! Well, it definitely fires. Slam Fire still works, which is neat. Um, 
This would be an excellent mod if you were playing in a game where uh, different ammo types did different damages to different creatures or different players or whatnot. Um, the Roto Fury doesn't index very. I mean, it, you can rotate it, so if you needed to rotate it to a different, you know, to the other ammo type, you could. Uh, you could also do it alternate, so you just know every other round is going to be the the mega ammo if, if you need mega. So, yeah, I think it's neat. I look forward to when the rain finally stops. I'll be doing a bunch of firing demos. I'll probably do them all in one big video, uh, demonstrating a whole bunch of stuff that I've been wanting to shoot but can't because of the rain. Um, so look forward to that. So that's my installation and uh, test firing review for the Worker Mega 2 Elite adapters. I got these from Banggood. They, were, they sent them to me to review. I will have the links to them down in the description if you're interested in getting them. Uh, if you have any other questions about the installation or the uh, removal, go ahead and put those in the comments below. And uh, thank you for watching.